For nearly 15 years, a community of runners has been turning a tragedy into comfort and in some cases, triumph for thousands of people on Delmarva. They've been doing it with the Tim Kennard 10 mile river run. Now, Timothy Kennard was only 48 years old when he died of kidney cancer. Kennard was a runner. He was known by many in the running community. March 7th, 2004, a five mile run was held in his honor. He died four days later. His legacy lives on as the 15th annual Tim Kennard 10 mile river run and 5k is this weekend and Harlan Eagle is one of the race directors and joins us this afternoon. Thank you so much for joining us today. Oh, th thanks so much for having me. All right now we can't talk about the Tim, Tim Kennard 10 mile river run without talking about Tim Kennard. You knew Tim. Tell us yes, about it. Tim was a real special friend of ours and Tim as a runner he wasn't maybe the world's best runner, <laughs> but he loved running and he loved to work hard. And he worked uh, Linda Mills, who's another race director, and Ken Goudreau and myself. And he, he always tried his very best and was involved in lots of races. And he was a friend to everyone. And when Tim was sick, we were having a party at Ken Goudreau's house and we, we talked to Tim and we said, Tim, we want to do a race for you. And he said, make it the best race, highest quality race and help kids and animals. Yeah, so wow. that, that he, he really, because... That was our mission statement. He, he gave it to us. He gave it to us, and we've been doing that for 15 years. And that race was actually held um, just a few days before he died. Yes. He, 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 was, he was very, very sick, but he knew the first race occurred. And his, his, his sisters talked to him uh, before the race and after, and then, then he did die a couple right. of days after so, the race. So is this one of the original shirts? This is an 05 shirt I'm yeah. wearing, that vintage shirt. Right. One, <laughs> we, lo we love this shirt. So for several years, it was a five mile river yes. run. What made you double it to 10? Well, we decided, we thought we, we could bring in more people and make it more attractive for, for the greater uh, area from Delmarva and beyond. And, and it has worked like, that way. Yeah. Yeah, because you get a lot of runners. We do, like yourself. <laughs> We're so happy about that. Our yes. star runner this year, Oh, Lisa. I, I don't know about that. We're very excited. So we want to talk, as we're talking about this race evolving over the years, unfortunately, tragedy struck the running community again when just a couple years ago, one of our fellow runners, Rob Schulteis, was, was killed while running. Um, so you've actually added another little race, Rob's Run for Kids. Yeah. Rob, Rob was a very special friend. He was involved with the, uh, the running club and uh, very highly involved with triathlons, biking. And as if, and most of us know Rob, a new Rob, and that smile, and he just loved kids. So we started a couple of years ago, the, the year after he uh, died, we started a uh, Rob's Run for Kids. Yeah. And that is a, it's for two-year-olds to 10-year-olds. And it involves a 50-yard dash, a 100-yard, a half mile, and a mile run. And it'll take place as part of our expo on Saturday, the 24th. Uh, it'll take place at 2 o'clock. Our expo is at Evo. Mm -hmm. So it's, right. it, the road will be closed right there, uh, Eastern Shore Drive. And it, it's really a cool race. Every child who participates, it's free. Every child who participates will get a medal. And it's a great, great time. Rob's family, just like Tim's family, they, it's a, it's a event, great event for them to all get together. They love it. And it happens to be Rob's son's birthday. Oh, Aww. there you so, go. Let's jump back to the Tim Kenner 10 mile river run. Have you had a good response to it? We always have a, we always have a pretty good response and we, we still have room for people to register. And the, the really cool thing about the Tim Kenner river run is it's a 10 mile run, yeah. a 5k run, a 5k walk, so if you wanna walk your dogs, you can do that. Tim loved animals. So what we also have, um, you can bring a stroller for the walk. We have people wanna do the 5K run. We have people like Lisa doing the 10 miler. And so it's a run for everyone. And that's what Tim was all about. He was a person who loved everyone. Yeah, wow. yeah. And, and Go, go ahead, yeah. I, I, I was just going to add, too, and, and because he wanted this race to help um, children and animals, you have some bene benefactors or beneficiaries. Yep. O over the years, we've been able to help the Horizon Salisbury program, which is an enrichment, academic intensive summer enrichment program for kids who come from economically disadvantaged families. We've been through the whole time, we've helped uh, Coastal Hospice, who provides programs for kids who are grieving after a loss of a loved one. And then 
the third one, and unfortunately my uh, co-director Linda can't be here today because her dad just passed uh, mm. today, is the Coalition of Caring, which Tim, Tim, Linda, and so many, they went out and they, they rescue dogs, they help abandon and hurt and you know, injured dogs, and they help them get to great homes and they help them get the care that they need, and that's Coalition of Caring. Yeah. And uh, Tim's sisters are highly involved in that too. So the animals are four-legged friends, and the kids are just what Tim wanted us to help. And Tim's son, Dylan, was six when we started. Now I think he'll be about 21, oh, 22. So he loves to come to the race, give out the medals, yeah. and be part of it. So it's a great fest festive time for all, and we love getting together with all our old friends and Tim's family and well, Rob's please, family too. Please share with Linda our condolences. I will. But now give us the details, the where and the when of what's going on. Okay, so first Saturday we have our expo which starts at, it's at Evo Public House from 11 to 5. As part of that expo, we have Rob's, runs, Rob's Run for Kids mm -hmm. at 2 o'clock, and that's a free registration for that, uh, with the donations accepted and goes to the LLR, Live Like Rob Foundation. Then on sa Sunday, our race starts at 8.30, um, 8.30 a.m. in Mag's gym, we have an opening ceremony which starts at 8 a.m. Our MC's Bud Elsie, and you know, Bud and Bev have, are recovering from a, a horrific accident that yeah. they were in, but they're, they're doing well. And then the race starts at 8.30, then we have a post party that starts at 9 in the gym. Elaine Gordy and her crew have been for 15 years putting together a great post-race party. We also have Dick Morris and a, a a new, new, new version of his band called Some Fools. Oh, okay. They'll be playing. <laughs> all right, they've been on and the show before. They are. They're, they're famous. They're We're going to have so. all that information on our website, domarvelife.com. Harlan Eagle, and, thank you so oh, much. Oh, what a pleasure. Thank for you coming for coming in me. and yeah. talking about thank you. the race on Sunday. Well, someone else you'll see at the Tim Kennard River Run is Lieutenant Tim Robinson of the Wicomico County Sheriff's Office. Still ahead on Delmarva Life. No, he's not running. But he does have a list of people who are running from the law. It's Most Wanted Monday. You're going to want to take a look. You never know where you might see one of these people, and, and that could score you some cash. And I'm in the process of running to the Del Marble <laughs> Kitchen, uh, where we find Chef Pete McMahon of Rusty Rudder, who's going to show us how to make a fresh ricotta cheese crostini with basil and cracked black pepper. <laughs> uh, Del Marble Life. We'll be right back. <laughs>